I'm well aware that seeing me have a pattern of eight shirts consecutively going at a time is getting kind of boring. I should definitely get new gear, especially since I have a, habitually make tons of videos. Another thing is that I've noticed that because there's an issue with my iMovie program, it's tilted towards the right to the point which I can't click it towards the left. And there's a glitch going on with that. There's something wrong with that. It's preventing me from making those 480p quality videos. Some stuck with 360p, which isn't that bad. It actually makes upload times much quicker. Now let's get to the meat and bones of my argument. Now, a mistake that I used to make was that I equated territory with state. Here's the thing, a territory and the property are very, very similar. They're very identical. How did I find out about this? Well, I started realizing that there's this thing called anarcho-monarchism, which I first found from Lady Addis and then from Tumblr. I was thinking, what the fuck is anarcho-monarchism? Like, how is that even possible? And then even before that, I have looked up anarchism. I saw some anarcho-democracy or anarcho-democratism. I'm thinking, what the fuck? And then it started making sense to me. Property and territory are similar. A property could be seen more as a sand, a basaltic grain, a silt, and a territory could be seen more as a conglomerate. Just this thing that's a little more in size. And yes, that's what she said. That's what I started realizing. So you can basically see at this point that anarcho-capitalism could be the thing that if it ever becomes a conglomerate will become anarcho-monarchism. And anarcho-syndicalism's conglomerate could be anarcho-democratism. And I don't think that at this point there will be an equivalent for anarcho-republicanism. I never heard of that, but these are all just little terms that I'm tr finding out, just this stuff that's going into my head because of how anarchist culture keeps changing. And Def9719 is interested in how a lot of these left anarchists and right anarchists are feuding with each other and how eventually that culture is going to pass for a new one. I think that if it ever does pass, it'll be changed for a higher conglomerate. That's why instead of the typical anarcho-communism, anarcho-collectivism, anarcho-primitivism, we've started developing in mutualism all these other leftist and rightist anarchism forms, we started developing more contemporary forms. We formed anarcho-syndicalism, anarcho-socialism, anarcho-capitalism, and now it'll eventually form into a higher conglomerate because the demands of society as anarchism hasn't been applied yet and there's still a change in society, it's still growing these higher conglomerates are forming. That doesn't mean that they'll necessarily be the best. But at this point, I'm convinced that the only anarchist means that will fail would be anarcho-statism, <coughs> Noam Chomsky, or anarcho-fascism, which would probably mean, since fascism is corporatism, or pro bodies of government, uh, those would probably be the only failed anarchist ideas.
one of the things that's surprising me is that this video is already over the five minute mark and it already feels like it's two minutes. But hey, my brain moves in micro speed. So what am I trying what am I trying to say here? Eventually we're gonna focus less on these property issues and we're going to start focusing on more territorial issues as our ideas move up to higher conglomerates. I'll repeat that since that's the main bulk of my argument. Yeah, I'm not using a script. We're going to move from a discussion in regards to property to a higher conglomerate of territory. Right now we're in the clay zone area. We're going to move towards a progression of maybe a conglomerate. So it's going to be start off with the normal anarchism that started in the beginning of time, the primitivism, and then that was the silt, and then it was the collectivism and all this other shit. That was the sand, the capitalism, the cynicalism, that's the clay. Now we're in the conglomerates zone. And that's the conflicts of interest that'll become the future. Uh, Def9719 considers it to be weak economics, but these internet interactions are natural hierarchies, so I kind of doubt that. But that's sort of what's my becoming my conflict of interest well that's what I'm starting to see a little bit more if you can make anything out of these videos be sure to send a comment any of your interests I'm sort of going with the motions here I'm also done